Good morning and welcome back to Video Diary on the Farm. The sun is shining, well it keeps popping in and out anyway. Um, it's been drying a bit and we managed to get back on the land. Um, currently I'm just putting uh, a bit of trace elements and uh, boron on the uh, oilseed rape. Uh, this field's getting a growth regulator as well um, to keep it, to boost it, to get it going. As you can see, it's a bit patchy this field. Yeah, get this feeder on trace elements it'll uh, be a lot better well hopefully it'll make it grow grow away even faster yeah this is looking better this bit of the field now yeah and it's hopefully dried up it's we're going to get a bit more drilling done as well now uh, we've just been moving some land getting it to uh, getting it dry so we can get some more spring barley put in. Let's hope uh, it stays dry for the rest of the week. Apologies for the wind. <laughs> it's taking it out here. Yeah, this field's coming spring beans. And George is just moving it now to dry it out. Yeah, it's making a good job though, quality press. It's firming it down. Uh, you don't have to dig down very far before it's wet underneath. And in this place, in this field, there's some wet spots. There's one place where uh, George nearly got stuck with the challenger, so uh, yeah, it's wet when you're sticking, getting stuck with one of them. Here. Yeah, it uh, yeah definitely wants a bit of drying. This is what we've got to contend with still. It's a spring and it's bubbling up. I'm trying to find the source of it, but you can see it's running. Yeah, this bit will have to go round. It'll be stuck fast if he tries to go through here. Challenge is only using 73% engine load. You can 
see it. There we are, top screen. Yeah, that's it, thanks. Yeah. The advantage is the GPS, especially RTK. Yeah, it's going in nicely. I mean, there's a heavier corner on the fields, and that'll take a bit more. We might have to go round the bottom part of the bottom corner, but uh, yeah, that's pleasing. Apologies for the wind. for this running. You can't have it always, I suppose. Well, it's all go today. We're, uh, we've gone off barley, spring barley, and now we're on spring beans. Um, we're getting them straight off the heap. They haven't been dressed or anything, they're just as they come. We're literally bucketing them off the heap into the bin, what we fill the drill with. Just tipping the bucket in, Yeah, this is the beans, They're just off the heap. They're clean, bit of broken beetle damage in them, which is these little holes. Well, that's a big hole. But you can't see that. Can you see that hole in it? Well, uh, that's broken beetle damage. But uh, yeah, these will drill, will grow. I think it's 83% germination factor. They're going on at uh, 300 kilograms a hectare. Have a look. Yeah, that wind is really drying well today, so uh, yeah, we're making the most of it. As you can see, seed bag conditions in here after it's dried a bit, it's ideal. Let's see if we can find, uh, find some beans. There we go, one there, one there, one there. They're into firm, they're into moisture. They're about ideal depth. We drill them about two inches, two to three inches deep. So, uh, yeah, those drills stuck in well. Takes a bit more pulling when it's like this. As you can see, we have a line of telegraph poles here. One here, and they're all in straight line. So what we do, we uh, drill it from the poles to the left of the poles. We go left, so there's a tram line at that side. 
and then we go drop to the other side and the tram line on that side so when they get sprayed the tips of the boom just are about just touching the pole so we haven't got to back up and back round them when it's like this that's how it's done for the record, there are flaming nuisance telegraph poles. They are for a spray man, they are for a drill man as well. Sunday morning, beautiful sunshine. The drill's broken down. We've got him out of bed. He's come to fix it. You can't get better service than that. Yeah, well done to Peacock and Bennington's for coming out on a Sunday. It uh, saving the day really because it's uh, dried well and uh, drilling conditions are uh, pretty good at the minute so we need to crack on. Just, I'm just on with putting some uh, feeders and some growth regulator on the uh, winter wheats and winter barleys just to give them a kick start. The uh, growth regulators not so much to uh, stunt the growth but it encourages uh, the root mass to grow to get the roots down so uh, with it being a wet back end they're only real shallow rooting so if we can get the roots encouraged to bulk up and go deeper um, that'll be in good stead if we get a dry spell so uh, hopefully it will come a dry spell after all this rain so we'll, we're trying to get as much out of the crop as we can because uh, as you know this, this year or well, last year this year um, good crops aren't very uh, plentiful so we've got to get as much out of what we've got as we can. This particular one, it doesn't look bad. It's come quite well. It's got a couple of patches in it, what was a little bit wet, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite good at it, really. Yeah, we finally made it to Melton Road Farm. Plenty of black grass here. We've, uh, we've come to Melton Farm and uh, just spraying off some stale seed beds with Roundup. Yeah, a bit wet underneath in the heavy spots here, but uh, yeah, certainly doing a good job with the Roundup. Get that black grass killed off, clean start. Black grass in this field, what I'm spraying off. In some, uh, not very good, it's poor land here, it's a melting, but uh, yeah have a problem. There's a few wet spots. We have a, a stuck problem. I can't go anywhere. I'm just waiting for a tow out at the minute. Uh, there's no water showing. I could feel it starting to sink a little bit but not too much so I thought I'd get through it but uh, I haven't. So uh, Derek's on his way with a tractor to uh, give us a tow out. I'm only a matter of yards before I get out of it. But uh, just couldn't make it. Spring, so, uh, not spring, summer, when it was dry. And uh, looking at how it is on this side here, I think I've maybe gone down a subsoil channel, water's gone down it and ain't got away. And that's why uh, it's so wet. So, uh, yeah. The year that keeps on giving, 2024, it'll stop and dry up soon, I'm sure it will.
<laughs> well, we got extricated. Derek come with a challenger and he soon pulled us out. Wasn't really that stuck, but uh, I couldn't move on my own. So yeah, anyway, we abandoned that field because um, there was uh, several more wet holes in it and I was gonna make a mess. So uh, we pulled out. Oh, look at this, new truck day. Andrew's got his new truck. Very smart. Oh, it's been well over a year. I think it was uh, ordered in October and it's been up to now getting it a year last October. So it's been well over a year. Hmm, smart. That new smell, definitely a new smell, leather seats, yep, yeah, can't be bad. Well that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary on the Farm, uh, we've had a pretty busy week, we've got a fair bit drilled, we're getting there, we've still got more to drill so we still need some keep dry weather but uh, yeah. We're plodding on, we're getting there slowly. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, please hit that like, share and subscribe and uh, we'll uh, hopefully see you again next week.